Hey guys, Bar from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install these TST Industries Gen 2 adjustable racing levers on a Kawasaki Ninja 300 years 2013 and up. So in the first step, we will be removing the brake lever from the motorcycle. To do that, we will have to undo this locking nut from the perch. Take a 10 millimeter wrench and remove this nut. And then we will undo this pivot bolt here, the same wrench. Once the bolt comes out, the lever is free to come out. Put it to the side. We'll take a TST Industries Gen 2 lever. Get a little bit of grease. It's always a good idea to grease the pivot hole. Also grab the pivot bolt. And then you want to align the pivot hole with the perch pivot hole and then put the pivot bolt through it. What you want to do is start the thread by hand and then finish turning it in with that 10 millimeter wrench. Once you get it to bottom out, give it another five degrees, and then take the locking nut, thread it on the bottom. And then follow up with that 10 millimeter wrench Get it to bottom out and another five degrees. Now we need to make sure that there is no obstruction to movement here. Seems uh, like the installation went okay. We have six degrees of adjustment here. One being closest to the bar, six being the furthest away. So you could customize where your lever sits in, in uh, respect to the bar and um, now we can just move on to the clutch side. All right, so we will continue the installation with the clutch side here. First step on the clutch side will be to loosen the cable adjuster for the clutch cable. What you want to do is unlock it from the perch and then move it in as far as it'll go. And then you might have to back it out a little bit. What you want to do is make sure that the slot is aligned with the slot in the perch so you can get the cable out. All right, so now we will remove the locking nut from the perch. On this side, we have an eight millimeter locking nut. It is located right behind this uh, clutch reed switch. Now we can put the locking nut to the side and the pivot bolt through the top is a 10 millimeter. You can put the pivot bolt to the side, grab the 10 millimeter again. We will undo the pinch bolt on this whole perch here. This doesn't need to be withdrawn completely, it just needs to be loosened up. Reason being that we need to move the perch up to make enough clearance between the perch and the switch body here for the lever to come out. So now that the lever clears, 
we will remove the cable from the adjuster, flip the lever over, remove the cable from the lever like so. You can move this lever to the side. We'll grab a TST Industries lever, put some grease into the pivot hole. Assemble the clutch cable into the lever, then assemble cable into the perch. And now align the pivot hole on the lever with the pivot hole on the perch and install the pivot bolt. I want to start the threads by hand again. All right, we'll just bottom it out by hand. What I like to do is make sure that the lever is back to its original location and the perch is back to its original location. We'll tighten down the pinch bolt on the perch. All right, now I will bottom out this bolt, the, the pivot bolt for the lever onto the perch. All right. Now I will proceed to put the locking nut on from the bottom. So using a wrench from the top and the bottom, I will tighten the pivot bolt and nut assembly until they are snug. Make sure that there's still room for the lever to move. You don't wanna pinch these two surfaces together and uh, prevent the whole assembly from moving. Once I'm there, I like to give it another couple degrees, maybe five or 10. Check it again, we're good to go here. Last thing that remains to be done is to adjust the tightness of the cable. And that is best accomplished by following the guidelines in your uh, owner's manual. What I do personally is uh, I will adjust it to give it enough tension to have a couple degrees play. Move the bars all the way to one side, make sure there's still play. All the way to the other side, make sure that there's still a little bit of play, and then lock it down. All right, and once again, you have six levels of adjustment, six being the furthest out, one being the closest. So you'll be able to adjust these to your liking, and um, that's pretty much it. This installation is complete, ready to ride.